hi everybody this is neha the site and today i'm going to do a very quick and easy to follow tutorial on how to add a cookie consent panel to your kajabi website so i would like you to have two things ready so that you can you know follow along and uh, have this banner which has been on your to-do list for a while onto your site forever so what i would need is a web page that houses your cookie policy and the second would be your brand colors so what i've done is i have you know probably i have created a web page and uh, you know taking a link of that web page and then i have taken my brand colors in a sticky pad so i would like to just take a moment and show you how to create a web page which has your sticky policy cookie policy not sticky policy on it so for that you need to go to settings and then you need to go to static pages because th these static pages are the pages wherein we house all our privacy policies terms and conditions etc so we need to create a new page and we can name is and we can name it cookie policy and then we add our like, copy and paste our cookie policy to it so we go to static pages and then we create a new page at this time you should have your cookie policy in a word doc or something so that you can quickly copy and paste it cookie policy okay and then uh, i'll just uh, add some dummy text but you should actually copy and paste your cookie policy content and then one thing to note is add it to your footer menu and not to your uh, you know navigation menu which is the main menu and click save after you click save, you should preview in order to get the link. So we click preview. And now we get the link to the cookie policy page, right? This is the link. This would have the entire policy right here. And we need, we copy that, right? Just on a sticky notepad. And then we need to go to this website, which is called Cookie Consent by Osanu. And the URL for this is cookieconsent.osanu.com. I will share a link to this website down below. Uh, I have used a few websites, and this is one of the easiest to use. And also, it is free, so that helps. And then we need to click free download. Uh, you know, after we download, now begins the work of. It takes five minutes in order to customize this uh, banner to our brand and then put it on our website so we need to follow all the steps over here so the first is a position uh, so this is on the bottom of the website so it says banner bottom if you want it on the top you can either click that floating left floating right on banner top push down you can play with all these options and see which one you like i just leave it to the default the layout so this is a boxed block layout, they call it. There are different kind of layouts. You can try and see which one you like most. I just leave it to the default. One thing that I consider it is important to change is the palette because I don't want the black and yellow banner on my blue and uh, peach website. So I can change the colors over here. This is the reason I wanted you to have your brand colors handy. So I just take uh, you know the light blue over here and uh, add it as my banner color and then i take the peach and then add it as a button color and then the banner text i think i'll let it be black and the button text i'll let it be black i'm happy with them if you want to change it you can change that as well and over here learn more is this button when you when anybody clicks this they go to the privacy policy that is housed on your website so I need to enter the link to my privacy policy. So this is this one, right? Yeah. And then compliance type. This is, you know, I'll just leave it at the standard one, which is it tells users that we use cookies. You can see more information by clicking this, right? And then the custom text. In case you want to change the text, which is this one right here, you can do that over here, custom text, and also the text on these buttons. The website uses cookies to ensure that you get the best experience. You can change this. Got it is this button and learn more is this. So you can change any of them if you want to. I just leave them at default. And then now we have our code which is ready to be put in the Kajabi website. And then our policy will start showing on this website. Right now there is no policy. In just a matter of a few seconds, it will start showing on this website. So we go back 
and we go to settings, then site details. And when you scroll down the page, there is a page of had, adding header scripts. Here is where we add it. Here. If you have any code, just press shift and enter and then add your code and we click save. Now, are we ready to see what our website now looks like? We just click refresh, enter one more time. Just give it a few moments to load and populate and we should see our cookie policy in a few seconds from now. Yeah, here we see it. Right, so wasn't it easy to add your own custom banner customized to the look and feel of your website onto your Kajabi site? So you can do this yourself. It will take you just about five minutes, right? So if you have any problem, if you get stuck, then feel free to email me at sneha at snehahiramat.com and ask. I will try to leave a link to my website down below so that you can reach out to me if you get stuck. Thank you. Until next time, bye-bye.